back students so our topic for today is all about statement of cash flow so this statement is the fourth type of financial statement that you are to prepare when you are to audit or to prepare the financial statements at the year end of a company so in this video the content would be definition of the statement of cash flow major sections two types of statement of cash flow and lastly the preparation of statement of cash flow so the first topic is the definition of statement of cash flow so in review on the last video that is uploaded in this um, in this YouTube channel is are the statement of a financial position, the statement of comprehensive income, which are single step and the multi step, and the statement of changes in equity. So the statement of cash flow generally presents the sources and utilization of an organization's cash and cash equivalents. Although the statement of cash flow is historical in nature, the information contained in such statement is useful in predicting future cash outflows and inflows of the organization so from the um the key words outflows and inflows of cashes so the statement of cash flows is presenting to you the inflows which is ang pasulod ng mga cash sa imuhang firm and then the outflows is ang gagawas ng mga cash sa imuhang firm so that is the the things that represent or presented in the statement of cash flow okay another is the statement of cash flow provides an analysis of inflows or outflows of cash from or to operating investing and financing so we will furtherly discuss what is operating investing and financing um, throughout this video so the importance of the statement of cash flow provides the net changes in the cash balance of a company for a period this helps the owner see if the revenues are actually translated to cash collections or or if they have enough cash inflows in order to pay any maturing liabilities so in the statement of cash flow ang ginapakita niya is um the the owner would read or the owner would know kung ang iyahang revenue is collected ba in cash or puro ra siya utang or puro ra ba siya accounts receivable so diha niya makita nga garant smoothly ba ang iyahang cash throughout the year or throughout the period kung kano sa gibuhat si statement of cash flows also ginapakita pod if the available cash in the firm could pay the maturing liability so mo po na ginapakita sa statement of cash flow so the next topic is the major sections in the statement of cash flow so the major sections of the statement of cash flows are katong kagani nga nasa yung definition the operating investing and the financing so first we will discuss all about operating activities so for the operating activities are the baseline cash activities of the entity related to its normal operating cycle these are the activities that are related to the primary revenue producing activity of the entity so these are the um these are the following transactions or the following transactions are examples of the operating activities morning cash received from sale of goods or rendering of services so for example if you are a service company dere mag reflect kung um ang imuhang revenue or ang imuhang um services nga ginarender is ginabayaran baka diretso sa imong customer or gina utang pa into which is accounted to your accounts receivable also if you are in merchandising in sale of goods if your customer had bought um items on your company 
iyaha ba na siyang diritso bayaran or ginautang pagyapo na niya. Next is the cash received from loyal royalties, fees, commissions, and other revenues. So, the commissions, um, katong if ma-reach ni mo imong kota, diritso ba mahimong cash or dugay pa mahatag sa imuha. Next is the cash payments to suppliers of goods and services. Meaning, you as the firm, kung ikaw ang magpalit sa imong suppliers, payment ba in cash or in utang? So, the sa operating is dapat cash payments to suppliers. So, nagbayad ka. Which is, ang example ang nga transaction is bought a good to the supplier on cash basis. Next is cash payments to employees. This is the salaries of your employees. Next Cash payments to income tax. Kaning income tax mo ning year end ni mong ginabayaran dito sa BIR or um, any other taxes nga ginabayaran ni mo sa BIR. Next is the interest paid. So, as you can see, naatay open and close parenthesis nga plus and minus. It means nga kung cash receipts ya, imo siyang i-add. Dayon, it, if it is a cash payment, imo siyang i-minus. Then, interest paid is, imo po siyang i-minus. It is because you are paying interest in the form of cash. Then, interest received, it is um, added because you are receiving cash from the money being interested. Dayon, dividends received. So, nag-receive gya po ka og um, dividend from Atong mga dividends ni mo. Next is the investing activities. For the investing activities, these are cash transactions related to purchase or sale of non-current assets. So, our non-current assets are the property, plant, and equipment. So, muna sila ato ang mga um, non-current assets. So, these are the following transactions that are examples of investing activities. So, number one is the cash payment to acquire property, plant, and equipment. So, deducted siya from the open and close parenthesis. Then, cash payment to acquire intangible assets. Dayon, the intangible assets is, to furtherly understand it, na, na, na ko discussion na na to another video which is the major accounts, the assets, liabilities, owners, equity, um, revenue, and expenses. So, na dito, masabta ninyo what is intangible assets. And then, cash receipts from sale of property, plant, and equipment. So, na ay diring cash payments, meaning nagpalit ka. Na apo diri cash receipts, it means imong gibaligya ang imong property, plant, and equipment. Another is the cash receipts from sale in intangible assets. It means imong gibaligya ang imong intangible assets. And then cash receipts from sale of long-term assets. So, gibaligya gyapon. Next type of activities that is seen in your statement of cash flow is the cash transaction related to changes in equity and borrowings so from the word financing so sa imong capital so that following these are the following transactions related to financing activities so the cash investment from owners which is added Cash proceeds from bank loans. Nga nung giad man mo si cash proceeds from bank loans. It means nga, di ba kung mangutang ka, um, mupadulong mo na siya sa imong company, then katong nga utang nga kwarta, imo dahil siyang gamiton to furtherly um, mas mutaas pa ang operating cycle sa imuhang company. Diba? Then, or... For example, if you are in a kanang delivery services, nangutang ka og kwarta to bought a delivery van para mas makadeliver pa ka og daghan into other kanang mga lugar. So, muna siya nga, gihimo siya nga added sa financing activities. Next is the cash distribution to owners. Kanisyang cash distribution to owners is deducted because this is the cash withdrawals of the owner. And then, lastly, is the repayment of bank loans. So, kung ang cash proceeds from bank loans is added, ang imong cash payments is 
be deducted in the financing activities. So those are our major sections seen in your statement of cash flow. These are the financing, the I mean the operating, the investing, and the financing activities. So now we will proceed to the third topic which is the type two types of statement of change uh, statement of cash flows so we have two types these are the direct and the indirect so first we will discuss the meaning of direct the operating cash flow section of the cash uh, the statement of cash flow under the direct method would show each major class of gross cash receipts and gross cash payments so this is an example of a direct method. So as you can see, um, ang inyong makita is katong example na ko ganina bitaw nga um, mga type of activities nga gaka occur for operating, investing, and financing. And as you can see, um, di makita ang cursor. So as you can see, sa Cash flow from operating activities, makita ni mo si cash receipts from rendering of services which is added. And then cash payment to suppliers of goods and services is deducted. Muna siyang naka-open and close parenthesis. So, remember, always remember in accounting when an amount is kanang naka-open and close parenthesis siya, it means deducted siya. Next is the cash flow from investing activities, which is the purchase of property, plant, and equipment. So, siya lang ang naa sa investing activities. So, kung siya lang, ayaw na siya hilabti, ayaw na siya itotal. So, okay. So, kung kanilang siya ang naa sa inyuhang um, investing activities, ayaw na siya itotal mag total pa kadiha diretso ingani lang siya let alone lang siya ingana next is the cash flows from financing activity so proceed from cash investment of owners so money siyang investment of owners which is 230,000 which is added and proceed from bank loans is 50,000 and then payment to owners which is this is the withdrawal which is 10,000 and then the net cash flow from investing activities. Furtherly, ato nang ma-understand, nga nung ingana siya pagka plaster, nga nung ingani siya pagka solve, nga nung makuha na to ni sila nga mga amount. So, remember, this is the direct method. Next type is the indirect method. The operating cash flow section of the statement of cash flow under the indirect method will reconcile the net income loss of the company with the total cash flows generated or used in operating activities by adjusting the net income loss for effects of non-cash transactions. So this is your indirect method. So if you compare the indirect and the direct method, the direct method is um, marag sayon ra siya, masayon siya compared to <coughs> indirect method. Ang indirect method is um, mangita pag increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Right? So, um, mas applicable ni ang indirect method if duha katuig ang imuhang um, nahimo na nga um, statements or I mean, duha na katuig ang imuhang operating cycle example, your operating cycle is 2014 and 2015 so masayon ni siya nga increase and decrease, why? kay from from 2014 nga accounts receivable to 2015, pila ang na-increase sa iyahan mo din ni siya nga amount but Yes, furtherly, ma-discuss na nato. But in this kanang video, we will just focus on the direct method. Okay? Sa inyong module, di ba, class, is mas nakafocus siya sa direct method. So, dilit na ito, libog-libog na nga ito ang huna-huna. Mag-focus ta sa direct method. Sunod na ng indirect method. Okay? Okay, sa inyong milks or your um, most essential learning competencies nga gihatag sa DepEd, Direct method lang sa daw ang inyong tunan. Sunod na ninyo libog-libogon inyong self pag nanamos college. Kasabot na mo na sa indirect method. Okay. 
Next is the preparation of the statement of cash flow. So for the statement of cash flows, the same with the other statement from statement of financial position, from statement of comprehensive income, single step and multi-step, and statement of changes in equity, na agitay permitti nga heading. Heading is very important on each of the statement for you to be able to know unsa sa nga company ang imuhang gipepare, unsa nga statement ang imuhang gipepare, o unsa nga tuig or what is the period of the um, statement. So, muna siyang OI Law Office Statement of Cash Flows for the period ended December 31, 2015. Next, nga very important ni mga buhaton is analyze the cash transactions. If you remember in your fundamental one, the general ledger. The general ledger is very useful when you are to prepare um, statement of cash flow because the general ledger for the cash, the cash account, is very useful for you to analyze on Unsa may ipang butang ni mo, kani nga amount pang operating ba ni, pang investing, pang financing. So, mo na siya, di ba, ang plastada sa inyohang, ah, makita man ninyo siya, kaning, kaning dates, and then the amount, and then the nature. Kaning nature in your, um, General ledger, makita na siya sa particulars ninyo, right? Kani siya, kay gikan man siya sa inyong general journal, which is from the um, explanation. And then the classification and the reason is, dili ni mo siya buhaton in analyzing cash transaction. Para mabalaan ni mo kung financing ba siya, operating or um, investing. Okay, so for December 1, 500,000. Ang nakabutang sa inyo hang general ledger is cash investment siya. So when you go back to the type of um, to the major sections in the statement of cash flows, pag mo yung ganitag cash investment of owner under siya sa financing. ba? And then which is ang reason niya ng anong under siya sa financing because it affects equity. So kung mo balik to sa meaning sa um, meaning sa wait sa sa statement of financing is diba um, so financing activities is cash transactions related to changes in equity and <coughs> borrowings so muna siya nga classified to siya nga transaction as financing because it affects the equity. Okay, investment man siya, so padulong siya sa imuhang equity. Another, December 1, 100,000 is from proceed from bank loan. It means nga, kani siya nga company, nag-invest na si owner, pero kinakulangan siya sa iyahang gi-invested nga 500,000, gusto pa niya dungagan og 100,000, nga nangutang siya sa banko. So, it affects the financing. Okay, i-finance man niya sa iyahang company, right? On saan man pag-operate si ang company, o wala siya kwarta. So, kay kulang man ang iyahang gi-invest ng 500,000 to operate the company, nangutang siya sa banko para i-operate ang company, nahimo din siyang financing, kay i-finance niya para mo operate ang iyahang company. Okay, and then, the reason is it affects non-current liability because it is a borrowing. Why non-current liability? Maybe because this 100,000 is 3 years siya, amortize siya nga 3 years nga bayronon sa bayronon ni mo today bank. Muna siya nga non-current. Kaya diba kung current liability siya is 1 year lang ang ang kanang amortization sa imuhang utang. But beyond 1 year the loan is classified to non-current liability. Next, December 8. So, December 8, 
is 37,500 collection from customers. So it is an operating because when you go back to the meaning of operating, so magubak gubak tani para makabalum mo sa mga meaning nila asa naman til. Okay, so operating is activities are the baseline line cash activities of entity related to its normal operating cycle. So the primary revenue producing activity of the entity, that is why ang collection from customer is classified as it is classified as operating. And then, the reason it affects the net income. Diba kung collection from customer, it means you are rendering services to your customer. So, nag-operate ka, kay ni-render mga ka services. And then, it affects the net income because when you render services, diba dirit so man siya ma-record to your revenue. So, when there is revenue, there is income. When there is um Revenue, there is also expense. Diba? So, it affects net income. Basta kay collection, revenue, gina siya. Then, operating siya because mag-operate ka kay nag-render ka of service. And then, it affects your net income because it is a revenue. So, balik-balik. Next, December 15, 135. The same with December Ah, uh, December 15, day. the same with December 8, collection from customers. So, another operating which it affects net income the same as true with this december 22 collection from customer lang yapon so operating and then affects net income so dito sa credit diba as you notice sa ato ang t account sa atong cash or the general ledger is not a Debit amounts and the credit amounts. So, you analyze first the debit amount and then you analyze then the credit amount. So, humanamat sa debit amount to classification and what are the reasons nga nung nahimu siyang financing and operating, we will now proceed to your credit amounts. So, the first credit amount is the December 10. So, this is the payment of business permits. So, it is classified as operating why when you are paying business permits it is for you to operate your business walay business nga maka-operate kung nay walay business permit siguro na ay maka-operate kung walay business permit per not all dapat labi na kung dako especially you see ang iyahang cash investment is 500,000. So, maybe dako ni siyang company. So, it really needs a permit to operate. So, that is why it is classified as operating activities. And also, when it is classified as operating activities, automatically the reason because it affects the net income. Another is the December 1, 120,000 payment for annual rent. So, the payment for annual rent is classified as operating. Why? When you pay your annual rent, it means nga kaninga company nagrenta lang siya o um, building or an area para mo operate ihang business kay. Um, na ay mga business ron nga mag-operate lang nga online but kani nga owner is nag-op siya nga mag-operate siya nga magrenta lang siya so nahimo siya nga operating um, activities which is it affects your net income December 2 5000 pesos purchase of office supplies operating why classified siya as operating so Diba, kung um, office supplies, a company, um, wala magiguro yung company nga walay office. Bahala gamay nga office. Kanang, kanang example, ako nga, uh, ikaw nga owner, diba na magigayin mo ang office. So, para makahatag ka og report, especially kaning mga ato ang statements, mga financial statements na to, kinahanglan man na to siya i-print. So, kinahanglan na to og office supplies, which are a coupon bonds, or papers, or pens. So, para para na magamit na to, to operate also. So, it affects your net income. Okay, for December 8, 
36,000 so purchase of equipment it is classified as investing it affects non-current assets why investing siya is um, when you buy uh, equipment um, investment man is siya kay nag-invest ka og dako nga amount para ani nga equipment nga imuhang gipalit for you also to operate Kaya kung wala ni siyang equipment, dili magkaka-operate. Pero it is an investment kay nagamit man ka ugda ko nga kwarta from your company para maka makapalit ka ani nga equipment. So, also, ang reason is it affects non-current assets. Okay, ang equipment is classified as the property plant and equipment. December 17. So, December 17 is the 25,000 cash withdrawal of owner. So, it is a financing. It affects equity. So, nag-withdraw ang kanang kawan owner sa kanang og cash sa company. Lastly, is the December 31, 20. 3,000 payment of salaries it is operating it affects net income why payment of salaries is um, classified as operating because a company cannot operate or a company um, should pay um, salaries to its employees which is the backbone of the operate the operation of the company kung wala ka ng employees kinsa man imuhang ipa um, lihok de sa imong company e kung ikaw lang isa siguro kung gamay ang kanang company kaya ni mo ikaw lang isa but if dako ang company nanginahanglan magid ka og mga empleyado so these are the analyzation from your um, T account of cash so this is the um, these are the analyzation of the cash transactions so this type of analysis is very helpful for you to um, prepare your statement of cash flow so the next step in preparing your statement of cash flow is prepare the operating section prepare the investing section prepare the financing section and determine the ending cash balance so we will proceed to that preparation of statement of cash flow Okay, so we will now proceed on um, the preparation of your statement of cash flows. So, ang first ninyong buhaton is you write the name of the company, Uy Law Office. And then, statement of cash flow. And then, the date for the period ended December 31, 2015. So, the next step that you will do is to classify the operating, investing, and financing. So, ang una ninyong i-classify yun in preparing your statement of cash flow. Ang una ninyong i- Sulat is si operating. Next is si investing. Lastly is si financing. So, in writing, in preparing your statement of cash flow, ang una ninyong buhaton is you write cash flows from operating Activities. Okay, so if you remember kaganina, when we discuss on the meaning of the three major sections on the statement of cash flows, is na naka open and close parenthesis dito. So ang unang yung buhaton is ang inyun unang inyong ibutang in your kanang cash flows from operating activities is ang i added, then ang i deducted. So if you can see. In your analysis kanina, di ba natin analysis nga sa December 8, December 15, and December 22, na atay tulo ka collection from customers. So, kay tulo man siya, dili na tatay siya itagsa-tagsa, ato silang i-add tulo. So, butang ninyo dari, cash receipts 
from customers cash receipts from customers so pila mana ang tulo okay so 37500 plus 135000 plus 35000 so all in all ang cash receipts from customers nimo is 207,000 so 207,500 next balik ka sa imuhang cash analysis so what are the operating classification of operating nga pwede pa nimo i-add so wala na nga namang wala na kay wala na may debit Puro naman po credit ang nabilin nga operating. So, you will proceed on the payment of business permits, the payment of annual rent, the payment of office supplies, and the uh, payment of salaries. So, yung mga iba tang dere. Okay, so, ang imong una isulat is the cash payments of business permits. So, Cash payment of business permit in the amount of ten thousand. So, the okay, cash payment man siya from the word payment. So, mag open and close parenthesis ka, which means it will be deducted. Next is the cash payment for annual rent so cash payment for annual rent in the amount of 120,000 open and close parenthesis next is the purchase of office supplies so ang purchase of office supplies is Pwede ni mo siya ibutang ani nga classification sa operating expense. I mean sa operating activities. So, cash payments to suppliers of services. Dari ni mo siya. Pwede ibutang. The cash payments to suppliers of goods and services. So, ibu na siyang ibutang liha. Cash Payments to suppliers of goods and services. So, it is in the amount of okay, it is in the amount of five thousand. Lastly, on operating activities is the payment of salaries. So, cash payment to employees. So, butang ni mo to employees kay ang salaries padulong magid siya sa employees in the amount of 23,000. So, I'm very sorry. Dili din makita ang akong gipang sulat ba? So, muna siya, no? Um, wait. Sa. So, for the cash payments of business permits, it is 10,000. For the cash payments for annual rent, it is 120,000. For the cash payments to suppliers of goods and services, which is a mohang um, analysis of the cash transactions is money siya ang payment of office supplies or purchase of office supplies and then cash payments to employees which is 23,000 money siya ang payment of salaries so from that gikan ani nga imuhang analysis wala namang kailang um ko ano operating activities so diretso na din ka mag total sa imuhang 
dito na din ka magtotal sa imuhang operating activities. So, from this, so magbutang na tayo yung taog. Net cash flow from operating activities. Okay. So, ima na dayan silang i-total. Or, ima na silang i-deduct na dayan ni mo from 207,000 i-minus ni mo si 10,000 minus 120,000 minus 5,000 minus 23,000 So, ang nakuha ni mo for net cash flow from operating activities is 49,500. Okay, mag-double rule na ba? Dili pa. Okay. Ang ato pang nahuman is for operating activities. The next would be the cash flows from investing activities. Okay. So, next nga itong isolve is the cash flows from operating activities. So, cash flows from, I mean, investing activities. Okay. So, when you... When you go back to your analysis in cash transactions, as you can see, your investing activities is only one, which is the purchase of equipment. So, butang na yun yung modere, cash payments for purchase of equipment okay cash payment for purchase of equipment in the amount of 36,000 so 36,000 so kay uy law office man ni maybe kani nga kuan nga equipment is a um Photocopier, guru na siyang equipment kay 36,000 naman siya. Okay. So, mo lang na siyang imong ibutang sa imuhang mo lang na siyang imuhang ibutang sa imuhang um, investing activities. So, as I've mentioned kanina, dili na ka magbutang og total pa. Okay. Siya lang man isa. Dili na ka magbutang og net cash flow from operating activities or net cash flow from investing activities it is because when you say net na inahitabo nga um, deduction from the biggest amount or na inahitabo nga addition and subtraction mo nang may yung kanga na net but kani isa raman isa so let alone lang na isa diha so we will proceed to the um, cash flow from Cash flow from financing. Okay, so you will write cash flows from financing activities. Okay, so cash flows from financing activities. So from your cash transaction analysis so pila man ang financing the same oh no so the financing is tulo sila kabuo so as i've mentioned kanina maguna ka sa i added ay hadayan ka sa i deducted so first nga ato ang i classify 
ibutang sa imuhang statement of cash flows for the section financing activities is ang cash investment. Next, dayon ta is proceed from bank loans. And then, next is the cash withdrawal of owner. So, yung mong ibutang diri sa imuhang statement of cash flow is the Um, cash investment of owner in the amount of 500,000 and then next is the proceeds from bank loan in the amount of 100,000 and then lastly is the cash withdrawal of owner in the amount of 25,000 so, kay cash withdrawal man siya, mahimo siyang deduction. Okay. So, mo lang man siya ang imuhang financing activities. Maglinya na din ka diha. So, it means nga makuha na ka sa imuhang net cash flows from financing activities. So, Si 500,000, i-minus ni mo kang, ay i-add ni mo si 100,000. And then, i-deduct dayo ni mo si 25,000. So, you will get 575,000. So, it's 575,000. So, are we done? We are not done yet. So, nakuha na ni mo si operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. So, ang sunod ni mong buhaton is i-kwaon ni mo ang net increase in cash. So, the net increase in cash. Buta ni mo dere. Net increase in cash. So, net increase in cash. Okay. Sa mga amounts, dire maglinya ka. And then, sa so net increase in cash, it means nga, kaning si 49,500. Okay. Positive man siya. I-add din mo 49,500, which is the net cash flow. Net cash flow from operating activities. And then, C36,000, si which is an investing activities. And then, C575,000, si which is net cash flow from financing activities. Imo siyang i-add tolo. Okay. Add mo sila tolo. So, 49,000. 49,500 plus... 36,000 plus 575,000 so it is I mean dili din ninyo i-add si 36 it is because I'm very sorry it is a cash payment for purchase of equipment so it is deducted so i-minus ninyo si 36,000 so very sorry class no very libog no <laughs> Sorry kayo. So, it is 588,500. So, that is your net cash, net increase in cash. And then, imo da yun siyang i-balance. Um, diba? In, in, in all of your financial statement, mag-balance magid ka from your statement of uh, from your statement of financial position to your um, income statement to your comprehensive income and to your um, changes in equity. So, mag-balance mag ka. Okay. So, ang 588,500 
Nga na siya imuhang net increase in cash. Na din kay ibutang na pudsunod nga cash at the beginning of the period. Okay. So, the cash at the beginning of the period, it is given. So, di ba ang imuhang statement of ang imong statement of cash flow is um, December 31, 2015 man. So, dapat ang imuhang cash at the beginning of the period is gikan sa kanang kuan. Um, December 31, 2014 ni mga financial position. O niya kay maybe, kaninga problem nga given is um, first year of operation niya. That is why uh, wala siya cash at the beginning of the period. Kay ang problem po, wala po siya naghatag og amounts nga um, cash at the beginning of the period. So, butangan ni mo siya diri og zero. Okay. Zero. And then, lastly, ang ibang ibutang is cash at the end of the period. Okay. Balik ta aning cash at the beginning of the period. Kinahanglan, kanisiya is nana siya cash from the year 2014 kay ang cash from the year 2014 cash from the year 2014 mo forward man dayo na siya sa January 2015 kay di ba kung sa year 2014 December 2014 nga cash dili man ani mo siya i-dispose imo man gina siyang gamiton to continue your operation for the year 2015. So, muna siya nga, muna siya dapat ang nadiri sa cash at the beginning of the period. Pero kula, may given ang problem. So, mahimo lang na siyang zero diha. And then, you proceed to i-add dayo ni mo. So, sa may i-add ni mo, wala may kanang amount diha, diritsu ka sa 588,500. So, diri na din ka mag double rule. So, that is your cash at the end of the period. Why at the end of the period? Because for the period ended December 31, 2015. Okay. Where you can, what, um, aha ni mo, maka, aha ka makaingon nga, check ang imo hanggibuhat nga statement of cash flow. You go back to your um, cash analysis or the Um, the T account or the general ledger of your kanang cash. So, as you can see, kanima na mga transaction sa imuhang cash for the period. And then, kanida yon ang imuhang total debits mo na imuhang total credits. So, gimainos ni mo ni siya, padulong kang debit, So, muni imong nakuha ang 588,500. So, as you notice, ang amount ni mo for the cash at the end of the period is 588,500. It means that your cash flow is correct. So, dito ka nag-balance <coughs> sa imuhang general ledger for the cash. So, This is your statement of cash flow for the period ended December 31, 2015. So, for the period ended, it means tanan nga mga transaction nga nahitabo lang for the December 31, 2015. So, muna siya. This is your cash flows from operating activities. Your cash flows for investing activities your cash flows for financing activities. And then, this is your ended um, cash at the end of the period, which is 588,500. So, I hope you learned something for today's video. I will give another example in which it has, the problem has a given cash at the beginning of the period. So, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next video.